This video tutorial from Focusrite will show you how to set up your Focusrite Sapphire interface for use with Cakewalk Sonar software ready to record and playback audio. The first step you need to take is to download the latest version of Sapphire Mix Control from the support pages on the Focusrite website. Once you have downloaded and installed this, you can connect your interface and run the Sapphire Mix Control software. Then open Sonar and create a new audio project. To configure the audio, go to Options and select Audio. The first step that we need to take is to configure the driver mode. To do this, select the Advanced tab and on the driver mode drop down box, select ASIO. You'll then need to click Apply. Once this is applied, you can select the correct device. Also in the Advanced tab, select ASIO Sapphire as the device. You should see the correct number of inputs and outputs for your interface. I'm using a Pro 24, so I see 8 in and 4 out. You may think this seems a little low, but that's because they refer to stereo pairs. So actually, there's 16 mono inputs and 8 mono outputs. Once this has been selected, click Apply again. We then need to go to the Drivers tab to configure which inputs we are going to use. Make sure that Generic Low Latency ASIO is unticked. You'll then be able to select all the ASIO Pro 40 or Pro 24 inputs. Tick all of them to make sure that they're all available. Do the same for Output Drivers. Once this is done, go to the General tab. Here you'll see Sampling Rate. Ensure that this matches the sample rate set in Sapphire Mix Control to ensure that you don't experience any sample rate problems. Your Sapphire interface is now ready to use in Sonar. To select an input and output in an audio channel, drag down the view, and here we see Input and Output selection boxes. For Input, click on it and select ASIO Sapphire. You'll see that you can either select stereo inputs here for to use a stereo channel of 1 and 2, or you can select s separate mono inputs. Here, input 1 left refers to input channel 1 of the Sapphire, and input 1 right refers to channel 2. For example, if you wanted to use channel 4, select input 3 right. To configure your outputs, click on the output box and select the output channels that you wish to use. Again, these are grouped into stereo channels, so 1 refers to 1 and 2, and 3 refers to 3 and 4. I'm going to select outputs 1 and 2. I then need to configure Sapphire Mix Control to hear 1 and 2. The easiest way to do this is to select door tracking so that it routes door 1 and door 2 outputs 1 and output 2 from Sonar to all outputs including monitor and headphones. If you wish to create a more advanced output, use the mix. This can be used for zero latency monitoring. For more information on using mixes and on Sapphire Mix Control, see the Sapphire Mix Control tutorial on the Focusrite answer base.